Well, Bob, it was a shorter trip than usual on, on Saturday and it was a reasonably nice journey back with, with the prospect of a replay against Hull City after I, I think so. I think so, Lee. You know, you go, we could have been, as you say, it was one of the short ones, a nice little run for us. But I, mm. I think um, we're going down there before the game you would have said, you know, when the draw was made, you think, well, we've got a really good chance. Nice to beat Hull the first time, but you've, you, whenever you're in the Cup, if you can finish up bringing the team you're playing against back to St James' Park in front of the 52,000, whatever it is, you've always got a good chance. So I thought everything went to plan, really, didn't it? It would be nice to, to finish it off, but uh, an extra game we could have probably done with it. But however, uh, if they can't finish the job off at uh, St James's Park, they don't deserve to be in the Cup. It's as simple as that, isn't it? Because they've done the hard bit, as far as I'm concerned. Mm-hmm. I mean, obviously, plenty of turmoil off the pitch last week. I mean, obviously, Shea given uh, the just a little the, bit, the, yeah, just a quiet week, really. But obviously, the, the Shea given situation. I mean, he responded in the best way possible with an, another world class performance. Well, I wouldn't expect anything else off Shea given. I think Shea given, you know, he came out. That's whatever the statement came out, whether he was behind it or not. I can understand his frustration because, in fact, I think back to my day. I think I did something similar after mm. the 1974 Cup final. Right. I didn't actually make a statement. I just decided. Uh, if, I've, if I've got to win anything else it ain't going to happen here so I decided then to move on and Brian Pop Robson did the same he came mm-hmm. out with a statement and he got frustrated because the club wasn't winning anything mm-hmm. and we've had 40 years of that and Shea has been there 11 years uh, been a great pro and I didn't expect anything else from Shea given he would, he would give his all he always has done always yeah. will do he's a good pro mm-hmm. and uh, so it makes sense and having talked to supporters I do not believe there's any supporters who feel that Shea's uh, let the club down mm-hmm. well he can't he's done 11 years yeah. and I would just like to I would just hope he stays with us mm. until the end of the season because things can change. You know, yeah. things things can change. His views might change. So I think it would be nice for him to stay at the end of the season until the end of the season and make sure we don't get any relegation yeah. problems. Mm-hmm. And I suppose while we're still in the FA Cup, I mean that's another incentive for him to to stay. Well, in you see, you, you, you watch that draw yesterday yeah. as well. You think, okay, that draw is not too bad for us. Again, yeah. home win. You'd expect we should win that if we can yeah. beat Hull and we can beat the, the other two we've got a good chance you start thinking then you're in the last state and it gets mm. better doesn't it so oh, yeah. you never know you go back to Sunderland when they won the cup in 73 they were in a right mess and Bob mm. Stoker came in won the cup so you just never know when it's going to be mm-hmm. your turn and obviously you've you've gone all the way to the to the final in 74 and yeah. you know you grow in confidence don't you the, the, the little stages you go through and when the draws are getting made you grow in confidence as it goes on well I think you do I think the, the thing is when you, if you've got a decent side and you can perform on the day mm. that's half the battle and any team performing if everybody plays really well beyond maybe what they're capable of at times yeah. then you've got a great chance and I think uh, when we did that as well because we were never favourites to get the final but as yeah. time went on before we knew we are we are playing Liverpool in a final yeah. maybe we were a bit too confident then mm. and got taught a lesson mm-hmm. but uh, we were playing good football up to then mm-hmm. I mean and Millwall or crew I mean great chance to, to progress and the fans will have welcomed that because we haven't been that lucky in the FA Cup down the years with draws Arsenal away last year for yeah. one and well that's what I'm saying all of a sudden mm. the luck starts to go with you a little yeah. bit and I just go back to even the game against Hull the one that hit the crossbar on the post yeah. did it go over the line or not I'm mm. not making a decision on that but we'll uh-huh. take the benefit of the doubt yeah. and little things like that just are the things that can maybe just you know get you in the final or even win the cup mm-hmm. so for the next five minutes everything's calm on Tyneside for the next five minutes as long as that All right.